Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and this is a tutorial on how to make plastic from milk. Literally, plastic from milk. I got this, I read about this in a book about Da Vinci and how he made plastic, or a plastic like material. And I have a, I, I made my first batch here, and this is what I got. It's actually pretty interesting, so I'm going to be making another batch and showing you how to do it. Here's what I make in this tutorial. These are all done now. After it dried, I took them out of their forms, and I painted them. And you can, uh, you know, uh, work on them, sandpaper them down, make them real pretty, do whatever you want. But it's a paradise. So, oh, seven. Hey, lucky seven. Another lucky seven. Four. All right. So, two sevens in a row. So, uh, the point here is that I, I made a couple of dice, which is nice if you don't have any or whatever. But you can, you know, make anything you want out of the plastic, you know. Make some molds, carve it, sculpt it, sand it, work on it, cut it, do stuff like that. It's a pretty, pretty cool little project. Okay, so what you do is you take uh, nine ounces of milk, which is a little more than a cup. Let's see here. So eight ounces. I'm going to eight ounces, and then I'm going to go a little bit over eight ounces to try to get about nine ounces of milk. Put them in a microwave safe bowl. And then, and then pop that bowl in the microwave for two minutes. Now you don't want to, you don't want to uh, boil the milk. You just want to get it good and warm, almost hot. Okay, you take that hot milk out of the microwave and add four tablespoons of white vinegar to it. So this is common vinegar. And then stir it up gently. Now I can see that curds are already started to form in there, which is terrific. They're starting to curdle. I just love throwing some wonderful curdles. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, that just curdles right up. That separates the um, casein. Look at that. You know those curds? That's what you want. Let's, let's uh, strain out the, the curds there. Let it strain. That's beautiful. Look at all that. That's all plastic now. That's all, that's all plastic. Okay, let it cool off. And then now what I like to do is, and to me this is important, is that I like to scoop it into a bowl. See it? Starting to fall nicely. I like to scoop it into a bowl and then mash it up really well. Because you don't want it to be real lumpy. You want it to be nice and fine. You don't want it to have a good plastic consistency to it. So you can work with it or you can use it in a, in a mold or something or create something. With it. I put it on paper towels and that will, um, with wicking, a wicking action, that will draw a lot of the moisture out of it. Now if you want to make some dice for gaming, <coughs> uh, you can do something like this. You know, cut yourself out a piece of cardboard, this is cereal box cardboard, that's four inches long, and divide it up into four inch squares. And then tape it up so it forms a nice cube. And try to get it, keep it as square as possible. It will make a difference in how the die roll. Now once your uh, plastic here is, a lot of the moisture has been, I've let this sit for about half an hour to get some of the moisture out, to get the bulk of the moisture out. But then you can take that and form it into your mold. And you can use anything for mold. You know, cookie cutters, make yourself up a mold if you want to make something. And there we go. My two dice, my dice are ready to go. Nice and packed to check the bottom. Make sure that's nice and tight too. Now let them dry. And then just dry them on a radiator or under a lamp. 
So, oh, seven. Hey, lucky seven. Another lucky seven. Four. All right. You want some food? Huh? You want some food? What's the food?